Greeting HMC friends, it's good to be able to be with you today and thank you so much for the many messages and prayers that I have received. I'm really happy to be able to tell you that most of the symptoms are disappearing. I'm just having to be challenged with the fatigue that comes with post-COVID. But it's just a reminder to me that even though our president may have changed things, of our need still to be careful, mask when we are together indoors and sanitizing those hands. Today, we turn to Paul's letter to the Corinthians, the first letter, and picking up in chapter 13. And some of those lovely words, picking up from verse 8, love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put childish ways behind me. Now we see but a poor reflection. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. This is the word of God for the people of God. And thanks be to God. Well, with today's devotion, I have sent out a picture. And I would really like you to have a look at it. Maybe even pause the video. And it's a group of zebras sent to me by a very dear friend, Terry. And thank you, Terry, for allowing me to use it for the devotion today. For the picture shows the shadows of a herd of zebra. And as you will see, it says, zoom in and look carefully. I really had to take a second look before I could understand that this was just the shadows. That in fact, this aerial shot was looking straight down onto those zebras. That you really couldn't see them. And the only reason you saw them was because of their shadow. And that sparked a deep thought in my mind. Is that very often in the experiences of our lives, what we so often see are the shadows. From our point of view, from the angle in which we see it. And we know how very often those shadows can be very distorting. It depends at what time of the day the shadows have been looked at. And obviously the nearer midday, the shorter and the smaller. And the nearest to the sunrise or the sunset, the longer the shadow. And no wonder we know the shadows of the night, where it's all dark. And so often our thoughts are taken right out of perspective. And this picture makes us realize that the shadows don't create the zebras. The zebras are there on their own. It's the way they've been looked at. 
Paul writing here to the Corinthians reminds them that by at this stage in our existence as human beings, we only know in part. We can only see dimly like in a mirror as he describes it in this piece of scripture. But there will be a day when we will see face to face where all knowledge will be known. And so that reminds me, I can't always see it, but God can. I might not always know, but God does. And so in this journey, it's that moment to trust God, knowing that God has a better view than my view that is so often just of the shadow. And so today, may you know that God indeed looks over your life, knows your life, and probably knows it even better than we do. And so take courage and encouragement in that. And wow, one day we will understand. But I just want to remind you, I'm going to be first in the queue. Take care and God bless and keep safe.